Dr. Carson, you were talking about the need of every single person in this country. We can't afford to ignore anyone. Anyone who's able to work, we need them. And um, for the people who are concerned about the unborn, there's a whole generation we've lost. Black, white, it runs across every economic, you know the story. What do you think we can do to encourage people that we can say, we need everyone. Step up, keep them, and we'll help you. Yeah, well one of the things we have to do is we have to make sure that people have school choice. Uh, we can't have situations where we have large groups of people who are forced into failing schools and we just say, too bad. Uh, and we do have the ability uh, to establish a voucher program which will give people choice. And that will make the inferior schools get on the stick and start working harder. I think that's very, very important. What about the generation we're losing to abortion? What would you do to help end such a horrific practice, as you said? Well, I think we have to appoint the right kind of judges. What would you do to help end abortion? Well, we actually have the constitutional language to do it right now. We just don't have a president who's ever had the courage to do what I'm committed to doing. If an unborn child is a person, then that child has constitutional rights under the Fifth Amendment to have due process before he or she is deprived of life or liberty. The Fourteenth Amendment guarantees equal protection under the law for all persons. The question is not why are we funding Planned Parenthood? That's small ball. Why don't we end this nightmare, this atrocity, this scourge upon our national soul of abortion? And, and we don't have to amend the Constitution. I hear people say, we've got to amend the Constitution. No, we don't. We have to invoke the Constitution we already have. The only question is, is that unborn child a person? If it is, it has constitutional rights. If it is just a blob of tissue, then it has no constitutional rights. As president, I believe it does uh, life begins at conception, we should protect that child. Now, would I get sued? Yes, I would. But you know what that does? That puts the pro-abortionist on the side of defense, not us, as we've been for the past 42 years. Let them take us to court and prove that they ought to kill a baby rather than us having to go to court and to the legislature proving that we ought to save one. If we can't defund Planned Parenthood now, what good is the Republican Party? In terms of your question, what can we do in terms of protecting innocent human life? Yes. Look, we're the most pro-life state in the country. We've passed several bills. I would encourage uh, other governors in the Congress to look at what we've done in Louisiana, from the admitting privileges to the Pain Act in Louisiana. We've done other bills as well. As president, I'd certainly fight not only to defund, but also to investigate Planned Parenthood. I made it very clear they better hope that Secretary Clinton wins. Under President Jindal, I'm going to send the IRS, the DOJ, EPA, OSHA, any other agency I can find to investigate Planned Parenthood. I will also appoint pro-life judges. I'll also we'll do everything we can to protect innocent human life in our country. We've done that in Louisiana. We need to do that nationally as well. It looks like likely that Congress is going to pass a clean CR now that doesn't fund, defund Planned Parenthood now that Bader's out. I mean, what else can we do? I don't think it's too late. I still think two things. One, we've cut off their contract in Louisiana to make sure they're not getting taxpayer dollars in our state. But nationally, I don't think it's too late for the Republican Party to wake up and say we're willing to fight. They haven't given in. You know, it's too, too often they feel like they've already uh, given up, there's nothing they can do. They can still fight this. This isn't a done deal yet. There's no reason they can't take this as an opportunity to rally themselves and fight for our conservative principles. Again, you look at Bernie Sanders, he's honest. At least he says he wants to make us know a socialist country. Why won't our side be honest with us? When they ran for the majority, they were very specific, saying if you give us the Senate, we will get rid of Obamacare and amnesty. They didn't do that. When they were running for the majority, they didn't say, well, if you give us the majority, we'll get nothing done. These grassroots activists, they did their jobs. They voted, they volunteered, they donated, they got the majority. What have they done with that majority?